Explain to us why they're going to make all this money. Well, you know, as we know, Congress and, and Trump are not really getting along that well and they're not really passing all these big <laughs> rules and changes and the tax breaks that we were all hoping for are not happening. But they can still, Trump can still manage to get bank deregulation through without any congressional help. And he said he's going to. And he wants to. And, and the Treasury Secretary, Steve Mnuchin, uh, published a report, one of the first series, uh, in a series um, in June, detailing the, the little tweaks that can be done by regulators without Congress. And, and those are the things that I looked at that, that actually can help the banks a lot. They're so small we'll, things, but that they will. Well, well, small, but when you're talking about $27 billion, yes. it starts to sound like real money, <laughs> right? Real money. So what are the tweaks, what specifically a tweak or two that's going to yield $27 billion in more profit? For example, um, changing how, how leverage ratios are calculated. Leverage is, is, a, is a more crude uh, way of, of calculating capital requirements. And um, you take all of assets and some of balance sheets assets even to calculate it. Um, the Treasury wants to exclude treasuries that the banks hold and the cash that they have at the, at the Federal Reserve from this calculation. That will make their leverage ratios look better and that will enable them to go buy a lot of treasuries and expand deposits. They've been saying no to deposits for a while because a lot of deposits, just they just don't know what to do with the money. Now they can just accept the deposit, buy treasuries, make a nice spread, here's more profit. Or, or return some more money to shareholders. But the reason why this was done in the first place is we didn't want to get back in the 2007, 2008 situation where the banks were really on the brink of failing. How are we sure that these tweaks, as you call them, won't put us back in a risky situation? That's the tricky part. I mean, you know, they look small, but when you add all this stuff up, are we really undermining the safety and soundness that have improved? I mean, no one can debate. We don't know whether banks will not fail next time and that the financial system is really, really as safe as it should be, but clearly it's safer than it right. was. Um, and, and the biggest thing was capital. Capital has risen a lot. Right. So now we're going to let a lot of that capital, you know, go down more, et cetera. We're going to, I mean, we're going to international standards, which we, U.S. had, had yep. exceeded. Right. Is, is that going to be too much? Were we better off? I mean, those are tough ones and, and you know, we're going to see.